What's up, you guys? <clears throat> Hope life is going well for you all. As you can tell from the title of this video, I had an idea stolen. Not really, but hear me out. So a couple of months ago, I was toying around with the idea. I want a business that I can do from anywhere. Of course, I can keep scaling pressure washing and Christmas lights, have someone take over. I can keep doing that, but I want something that I can work on from anywhere. I want to have the freedom to live anywhere I want, to travel whenever I want, which I do to an extent, but I just want something that is always working even when I'm not. That's how you tr build true wealth. And so a few months ago, I was trying to think, think of some ideas and I was thinking about things that will never be obsolete, will never go out of style. There is, I mean, there's things like real estate, food, life, death, weddings, funerals. There's, there's all of these things. I mean, clothing, stuff like that. Stuff that will always exist. And if you could somehow pick one of those industries and make a product for it, it's almost indestructible. Not really, but you can make some good money. So I started, we did work at a retirement home and we looked up you know, how much it costs to even enter into the home. And I mean, it's a quarter million dollars, just an entry fee. And that led me to thinking about funerals. And I was like, what if there is, because they have in memoriam websites, they have customizable urns, funeral homes, things like that, but I don't really want to own a funeral home. Um, but it got me to thinking, I'm like, you know, what if there's a way we can not solidify, but just encapsulate someone's memory. We can have one place we can, we can go to to visit. And as I said, they have in memoriam websites, but I want something a little more modernized, a smoother interface something customizable and I, I knew there was something there but I just kind of left it alone and kept doing Christmas lights. Fast forward to a couple of days ago scrolling on Instagram and a huge Instagram page shared this business and what this business does it's genius they have QR codes that you can stick on the back of the headstone of your, of your deceased loved one. You can stick a QR code and they're, they're selling them, you know, $2 for 100, uh, four for 300, something like that. But you can scan the QR codes and it takes you to almost a landing page. And it's completely customizable. You can share, you can have happiest moments, videos, happiest moments of your loved one's life a biography of their life, death, things they like to do. And the QR code, when you scan it, it, it almost humanizes these people because when you're walking in a cemetery, you just see headstones. And, you know, fought, you know, Bill Smith fought in World War II. But all of these people, you know, they're just like us. They had lives, stories, trials, tribulations, ups and downs. And just to, even for me personally, I would... I would enjoy just going to a cemetery for an hour and scanning different people's headstones, finding out more about their life, who they were. Personally, that's just fascinating for me, but even if it's just for a loved one, it's awesome. So as you can tell now, my idea wasn't stolen, but the point of this video is to take action. They could have thought of this, they probably thought of this idea, you know, a couple years ago, but think about all the ideas out there all the businesses, the $100 million businesses waiting to happen that just people haven't either thought of or they haven't taken action on. And it's just so inspiring to me hearing all these different stories about people who were able to make something out of nothing. And yeah, for some businesses, you need the capital. But for some, man, there's a lot of businesses out there, you know, they just take out a loan at a bank or save up 20, 30 grand. It's just awesome. It reminds me of another business on Shark Tank I saw a couple of years ago. It was a sex chocolate. 
aphrodisiac chocolate business. And this couple, they worked on it for so long, they believed in it. And all of the sharks on Shark Tank, they were like, y'all may come up with another business, y'all may not, but this isn't it. They didn't believe in them. And of course, they said the same thing to the guy who invented the ring doorbell when he was pitching on Shark Tank. Said the same thing to him, and he went off and he ended up becoming a shark himself. But a fella saw, 21-year-old man, saw that sex chocolate ad on TikTok or somewhere and was like, man, they're not selling it hardly anywhere. The packaging is awful. I see the videos are going viral, but there's just so much that they can improve on. So he basically took that idea and ran with it. Now, some people can call that kind of shady, whatever, but that's, that's, that's life, you know. Life isn't fair. And I just, I just wanted to leave you with, man, we all have a hundred million dollar, billion dollar ideas inside of us. Just act on it. Um, the thing for this year is I want, I want to grow what I have now and focus on what I have while also thinking about the future, thinking about having a product or an app or something that I can work on from anywhere because I don't want to be a slave and I want that freedom and I will have it. We will have that. I know we will 100%. Just take action, you guys. 2024 is going to be great. We're going to kill it. Life is good. Let's see what the year has in store for us. Have a good one, you guys. Bye.